Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're featuring an elderly dog named Romeo, who we've been grooming for years. Guys, in the past, Romeo has suffered from a lot of ear problems, a lot of wax buildup. So we're gonna show you how to do an ear plucking and a good ear cleaning, and also how to prevent this from happening in the future. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. Before we get into this video, we wanna do a couple of quick thank yous and shout outs to everybody that we were hanging out with in this past intergroom. First and foremost, we wanna thank Amy Lee from Go Groomer, guys. If you haven't already, please go to Amy's channel, subscribe to her channel. She does so much for the industry and she's doing so much for us. And you can look forward to us collaborating with Amy in the near future. We're gonna do some really fun things. So Amy, thank you so much. I also wanna thank Amy for plugging our son Rudy's channel, uh, Fan Arts by RV. He's also on YouTube. Guys, please go to his channel. He does artwork. He's really good and he's my son. So do us a big favor and subscribe to Rudy at Fan Arts by RV. We want to thank Jess Adorno from Paparazzi Pets. Jess, you are incredibly fun. We had so much fun with you and your mobile grooming truck. Good luck to you. And uh, we're looking forward to having you on our podcast. We also want to thank Sarah from Plush in Delaware. She was a competitor. We had the liberty of talking to her. She was so much fun. Uh, I hope your back feels better, Sarah. Uh, Sarah did so much work that day. And uh, as all groomers, our backs tend to hurt after a while. We also want to thank David from Impossible Pup. David, thank you so much for helping us out with the live stream. It was so nice meeting you and hanging out with you too. Uh, Leah Muscatello. Leah, we're looking forward to having you on the podcast. Thank you so much and God bless your baby. And uh, Laura Sabat and her dog Karma. Laura, it was so much fun talking to you. It was so much fun talking to everybody, guys. And uh, there's so many people that we probably haven't mentioned, but uh, we really wanted to just thank everybody uh, for hanging out with us that day. We had such a good time in Intergroom. No further ado, guys, let's get into this video. Okay, so you can see all this wax buildup in Romeo's ear. Romeo's an older dog and he really suffers from skin problems and he's had many ear problems in the past. So what I'm doing here is I'm really just kind of separating the hair in his ear with my comb so that I can work on getting the ear powder down into the ear canal so I can get the stuff out of his ear. Romeo's doing a lot of shaking because it's really uncomfortable and that's the reason why we have to get this out of his ear. Okay, so after separating the hair, I want to try to work the ear powder down into the ear canal. So I'm really trying to get that ear powder down into the base so that I can pull those hairs out right from the inner ear canal and get it out quickly. I'm just plucking small pieces at a time so that I can cause him minimal discomfort, guys. As you can see, I'm trying to pull from the bottom. I'm still using the comb. The more you could separate that hair, the more you can work that ear powder down into the canal, which is going to allow you to grip the hair better and be able to pluck it out easier. I'm using my index finger and my thumb. I'm allowing Romeo to shake because, again, he does feel a little uncomfortable, but it's a very, very important that we get this out. As you can see, it's way down deep in the ear canal and very uncomfortable for him to have this sitting in his ear without somebody getting it out for him. So now we're getting to the meat of the problem. As you can see, that hair is just going right down into the lower ear canal, and that's what we have to get to. That's the bulk of it right there. Lots of wax buildup, lots of dirt. Now I'm gonna put a little bit more ear powder in and work on getting the rest of it out to really clean this ear up. As always guys, I'm using my index finger and my thumb. 
I'm not using gloves because to be honest with you guys, you would not be able to achieve this wearing gloves. We get a lot of comments asking why we don't wear gloves and it's just way too tedious to sit there with gloves. You'll never be able to get those inner hairs out of the ear and that's what's important is to really remove all this hair so that we can do a good ear cleaning and he doesn't suffer from any ear infections in the future. So index finger, thumb, and no gloves. You can see how much better it looks just by plucking the hair. We haven't gotten to the cleaning yet, but again, we're doing this in stages. So stage one is just get all the hair out of the ear canal. They can't do it themselves. So it's really important that we stay on top of our dog's ears and not let this happen. This could be prevented or minimized by doing more frequent ear plucking and using a good quality dog ear cleaner and cleaning out your dog's ears once a week. Now I'm just going in and I'm wiping out the ear. I'm using Pro Ear Cleaner here. I'm allowing Romeo to shake. That way he can shake out any debris that's in the lower ear canal. He definitely feels a lot better here, guys. After using the forceps to get the inner ear canal clean, I'm holding a cotton ball now and getting the upper ear canal and the outer ear clean. It's a little safer and a little bit more comfortable for the dog just because the cotton ball is a little bit bigger, but I did have to use those forceps to get down into the inner ear canal. Despite all that wax buildup, I'm really not seeing an ear infection here. He just really needed a good ear cleaning. His ear didn't smell infected and it didn't look infected to me at all. Again, it was just a lot of wax buildup. This is easily prevented by, again, just maintaining. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button if you want to see more videos like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our weekly content. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.